So I've been trying to come up with a way to get inside the frame and, and clean out some of the rust and debris that's still left inside the frame even after I did the drain jetting. And this is what I came up with. I bought this dryer vent brush, which came with a, uh, a large brush that will fit into this hole, but but won't fit into these other holes. And I have the, and it also came with this brush. But what was uh, the good part was it came with this, this flexible, strong, but flexible extensions to get, uh, so that I could get, extend it through the, through the frame. And all I did was take some, some string trimmer string and clamped it to the brush with uh, with hose clamps and that's what i'm using to to clean out the inside of the frame so i'll give you a, i'll show you what it looks like so i have one of the extensions here connected to the drill i'm going to stick it in the in the front part of the the frame here some of the dust coming off so I'm gonna do some more of the frame and I'll try to give you give some before and after shots of what it looks like here's another one of the holes that I have put the the cleaning brush in I'm running the the drill I'm blowing the dust and loose rust out of the frame after I ran the spinning brush through the frame, through the frame rails. This is a view of the frame rail after I ran the drain jet through it and before I ran the spinning brush through it. And now this is the uh, same rail after running the spinning brush. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of difference, but not much. The drain jet did a pretty good job of cleaning up the dirt and removing any scaly rust, which there probably wasn't much to begin with. This is a, the cross member that I wasn't able to run the drain jet through and you can see the rust and dirt that's still inside. And, and in a few places of debris. So here's a, a little bit of scaly rust. And, and now this is after running the brush through, some of the scaly rust was removed, but there's still quite a bit there. I wish I could have got the drain jet in here. I think it would have done a, a good job of removing this stuff. And, and what I'm showing now, there's, it didn't do much to it. But overall, I think running the brush through it may have helped a little bit. You could see the dust that I removed earlier. Since the string trimmer on the brush didn't work as well as I wanted it to, it worked okay. It took a little bit of the rust off, but it didn't take some of the light, light scale rust that was in that cross member. I came up with something different. 
instead of using the brush, which was pretty flexible and, and, and got damaged, I just took one of the extensions and zip tie, or not zip tied, but uh, used hose clamps and this cable. This is just uh, just some thin metal cable. Hose clamped it to this one of the extensions and I'm gonna try this next. Uh, I think this will be a little bit more abrasive and probably get rid of that that scale inside of the inside of the frame inside of that cross member. The rest of the frame's fine. Just that cross member is is the one that had the scale in it. This is the inside of the frame after I ran the spinning wire cable through the frame. Oh, and this is that spot I showed earlier and it shows a bit less scaly rust on it. And I'm looking at, uh, trying to look at other parts of the inside and seeing a lot less scale. So the only difficulty I had was one of the hose clamps came off, but I had put that hose clamp on this metal piece and it just slipped off. So that was a mistake. Uh, putting it on the, on the plastic part here before, below this metal piece was, made this one more secure. And anyway, uh, just having these two, these two, uh, cables on this single hose clamp was enough to knock off plenty of the scale. I think you saw, may have seen that from the video that I took after I, I did the, the descaling. And also uh, one of the cables here unraveled, but I don't think that was a, that was a big deal. I don't think any of the, the pieces broke off. It just, it just came unraveled. So I'm going to call that uh, a success compared to using the string trimmer line. So now I am on to the next step will be coating the, the inside of the frame with uh, OSFO and uh, see what that looks like.